but he works on the railway. In 1842, from Hartlepool, I moved to Crow, found myself a job to do, working on the railway. Hi. I was going to do this live at the club meeting, but it's a bit unpredictable. So I thought I'd video it and then we can set the length to something suitable for the meeting. There was some interest in um, Cade's um, long grind that he was using um, on, la on last demo. So I'm going to reprofile this standard bowl gouge to a long grind the easy way on a pro edge. This also works on the Axminster Ultimate in the same way. If you've not seen this horseshoe method of um, reprofiling before, there is a Robert Sorby video on it um, for setting the standard 45. Um, this bit isn't strictly necessary, but you can keep it square. Now I've set my table to 15 degrees. I put my gouge there, then that's going to take these wings back at 15 degrees. That's a 60, a 60 grit belt. You can see it's starting to make the horseshoe. As you can see, that's almost there. And that is there. So I've got... Uh, flat edge all the way around here it's actually flat right to the end um, so all I need to do now is sharpen that and I'm going to let that cool down a bit which is okay so for the next step um, I use the three hold um, extension long nose grind jig and wherever you've got that set to you add five degrees to each of these holes. Now, there's a problem with the pro edge. I don't know if it applies to the ultimate edge in that it, it hits the framework here. So to get over that, I said it, you can't, yeah, you can. Um, I set it on the pro set to 40 degrees. And then I use hole number three, which gives me 50 degrees. And that gives me a lot more clearance to come around the edge. Now there is less clearance on this side. Um, so I start there. Get this side right first and then work your way around. And you can get them even. Just doing the wings first, worry about the nose afterwards.
got a really sharp and nasty point on that now, which I don't want. Um, so I'm going to round that nose off. Which will obviously take a bit away from the wings. Just work the nose. Get a shape you like, and then work it all the way around. It's a little bit difficult because you've got to move it. And there you have a quick version of the Irish Ellsworth, whatever you want to call it, long nose grind. Um, that's obviously only of 60 grit. Um, if I was still on the pro edge, I would use 120, that would do me. I will go on to the tall map because I've got one. Okay, so I'll put it back in its handle. And this is just a piece of scrap I had. I, I trimmed this off of something I made a ball out of. So this is the outside edge. Um, so let's um, start with a pull cut across the back. See how that cuts. Remember this is off of the 60 grip belt. It's not sharpened properly yet. Problems with um, playing with the new angle grind is you tend to put a lot of the blank on the floor. So this is quite a bit smaller than it was when I did the back, but it did come down to nothing on the edges, so that's why. My excuse, anyway. But it is only three and a half centimeters deep um, before we have a funnel. And I suspect this grind isn't ideal for that. But let's have a go. We can control this grind quite well, I found on the nose. Not bad. Not bad at all.